Welcome to FL Studio Mobile 2. Today we'll look at the key new features. First, FL Studio Mobile 2 is a free update for existing customers. So check the App Store for the update. The key features are audio tracks, including a wave editor and multi-track recording capability. A background audio option that allows FL Studio to play in the background while you use other apps like Decadance Mobile to scratch along. FL Studio Mobile HD is now a universal app. This means Mobile HD will run on iPhones, iPods and iPads. There's Retina Display graphic support and new library items. Let's have a look at audio tracks and recording. First, I'll add an audio track. Now I have the options of recording audio or I can import a file from an audio folder, the iPod library or audio paste supported applications. FL Studio will import WAV, MP3 and AAC audio format files. But today, we'll record a vocal track using the iPad's internal microphone. After pressing record, you can select options such as playing the track while recording. Notice our vocalist is wearing headphones. I'm going to take a breath. Take a breath. I'm going to take a breath and clear my head. Got to be sure someone once said. Let's have a listen. I'm going to take a breath. So here we are in the audio editor for general purpose audio processing duties. I've noticed this section is a little quiet, so I'll use the volume normalization feature to bring it up a little. Similar to the keyboard and tracks tab, you can pinch zoom on the toolbar area. I'll refine the selection using these markers. Please let me make a decision, let me out of this prison. I'll tap the speaker icon and I can boost the volume to 80%. If you go over 100%, you'll get the option to use a soft limiter. Okay, so now the section is louder. Please let me make a decision, let me out of this prison. I'll just cue it and we'll have a listen. Great. Finally, we have some new library content. I'll leave you with the amped guitar and bass demo. Enjoy FL Studio Mobile 2.